Buenos dias, good morning. Today I am off to a city about an hour and a half away, I believe, called Ronda. It's a day trip here from Marbella and I'm really excited. It's one of the largest wine producers in the region. We're gonna stop by a winery, have some lunch, do a wine tasting, and also explore the historical side of the city. It has uh, some history from the times that the Arabs were here. It has uh, like a city wall along the edge of a cliff. Anyway, I'll stop talking about it because I haven't actually been and uh, we're on our way there now and I'll show you. So actions speak louder than words and all that. Let's go. Hi, I'm Laura Bronner, a gal with a backpack and a camera traveling the world to learn more about the people and places and food in it and hopefully sharing some of the magic of those experiences with you. For the next few weeks, I'll be exploring places like Malaga, Cabo de Gata Natural Park, Marbella, and Sevilla. I hope you'll enjoy the adventure as much as I do. Ronda is a mountaintop city in southern Spain, in the Malaga province, that sits dramatically above the El Tajo Gorge. This gorge separates the 15th century side, which is referred to as the new town, from its old town, which dates back to the Moorish rule. It was a windy drive from Marbella along the mountainside up to the white village of Ronda, but it was well worth it, and should I revisit, I'll be sure to pack some Dramamine. We took a walk through the city until we got to one of the city's most famous views, looking out over El Tajo Gorge. We divide the city in two one from the 18th century, 1-8, and the other one from 45 BC, okay? Then, inside the new section of the town, we have a beautiful monument. It was built in the 16th century, it's Mudeja de style. Mudeja is mixed, Muslim and Christian, both together. There are three bridges that connect the city across the gorge. The main bridge is Puente Nuevo, or New Bridge, which seems like a silly name considering it was built back in the 18th century. However, it is the newest of the three bridges, with the second dating back to the 13th century, and the third dating all the way back to 45 BC. There are several great viewpoints of the Puente Nuevo, and I'll link to them in the description below so you can enjoy them on your trip to Ronda. But even more impressive, to me at least, were the views of the gorge from those bridge viewpoints. It was a pretty long way down, and seeing those stunning cliffs with the lush green fields behind them was really a highlight of Ronda for me. It is so beautiful here, it's hot. I am sweating. <laughs> but we've been walking around looking at all the history, these bridges, one that goes back to Roman times, 45 BC. You've got one that was built by the Arabs when they were here in the 13th century. And then the new bridge was still built like several hundred years ago. So yeah, lots of history. When we got here, the tour guide told us this is one of the most beautiful places in Spain, maybe in Europe. And I, I'm starting to see why it is incredible. After seeing some incredible views, we learned about the place that makes Ronda quite famous within Spain. It's Bullring. Ronda is home to the oldest bullring in the world, Plaza de Toros. In fact, much of the modern day rules of bullfighting were actually developed here in Ronda in the 18th and 19th centuries. Now, there is only one bullfight per year here in Ronda, called the Corrida Goyesca. It takes place in September during the Pedro Romero Fair, Pedro being one of the city's most idolized bullfighters of years gone by. Pedro, okay. He was born in 1754. He began 
at the age of eight. When he was eight years old, he began with the bull. He retired when he was 70. <laughs> he killed the last bull at the, at the age of 70. He killed 6,000 bulls. And he never had any problem with the bull. He used to say, a good bullfighter from here to here. The leg like that, play, play. 20 minutes after being with the bull, 20 minutes, the bull knows more than the bullfighter. It's very clever. Right, left, left. And the body, what's going on? And then the bull stops and goes directly to kill the bullfighter. This is why if they save, save the life of the bull, that bull is going back to the countryside, okay? It's going to be the father of a lot of little bulls. We spent a little bit more time wandering around the city center and hiding from the heat of the sun and seeing exactly why this is one of what is referred to as the white villages. It's obviously a really popular day trip from like Malaga and Marbella uh, because there are a lot of tour groups here, uh, a lot of them speaking English. So if you are in Malaga or Marbella, I would definitely recommend checking with like local tour guides or with your hotel uh, and seeing if you can hop on on a day trip here because that road is very windy up here. So if you're not used to driving that, you probably want to leave it up to someone else. But this is beautiful. The downtown has been so cool, but we are getting hungry. So now we're heading back to the bus to go to a winery, a local winery. There are over 20 wineries just around Ronda alone. So it's a, it's a well-known place in the Malaga region for, for wine. And uh, we're gonna find out whether it's delicious or not. I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna be refreshing after this hot walk around the city. And food, obviously. We were visiting the winery Bodega Joaquin Fernandez. I will link to the website in the description so that you can book a tour for yourself. The tasting included lunch, and as a self-proclaimed beer drinker, it will be the meal that I remember most fondly on this trip. <laughs> However, I was told by those that do enjoy wine that it was excellent wine for the climate that we were in, light and refreshing. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Ronda with me. It was such a beautiful town, such a cool place to explore, and a super easy day trip to do from Marbella or Malaga. Uh, I will put in the description below some tour options that you can take from either of those destinations, uh, so you don't have to worry about driving on that super windy road. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.